to the channel. It's a Saturday afternoon in Calendar. Um, it is absolutely heaving with people out for a stroll. It's the first weekend of spring, so naturally that means in Scotland that it's tap sass season. I'm not joking. So we're walking down to um, a place called Brackland Falls. It's very, very noisy down here, so I'm trying to get as much vlogging as I can down here because I do have an, an additional audio source that I can use, but I can't attach that to the GoPro. So it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a woodland area as well. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to walk down to the falls and see if we can get some pictures down here. And uh, I'm quite hopeful. I've been here twice before, so I know there's definitely a picture, but I'm going to try and climb down to the falls if I can. Um, but I've just been overtaken by another photographer running down. So clearly they're going down for a good spot. Um, not that we can't share apparently, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to try and um, get down and find out what kind of compositions we can get down. The weather's a bit mixed, it's kind of raining just now, pretty cloudy and also sunny, so we might get some dappled light on the waterfall. I prefer not to have too much sun on it because it will blow out the highlights on it, so yeah, we'll um, get down and see what we can find. From Brackland Falls. We've got an absolutely stunning day, quite overcast just now, the sun seems to have disappeared. But that's not always a bad thing when you're shooting waterfalls because you don't want the sun directly hitting it really unless it's hitting the sides, like where the grass and the moss is and stuff, it tends to look quite blown out. So I found a really good composition, I actually found two. As you saw I was kind of precariously sitting on the edge of a cliff bit to get one which was not the brightest idea I've ever had but my legs were like jelly. So we're in for a treat today, I'm going to two other waterfalls today. One is on a, a fire road from Stirling back to Glasgow and the other one is on the same road but it's on the road to Fintry and that's called the Loop of Fintry and you've probably heard of that one. I've been there many many times before but I've never actually vlogged at it but I had to drive by there earlier to get to here and it was mobbed. I counted at least 20 to 30 people down there so I'm hoping by going up a wee bit later I might get there in time for sunset and half those folk might have went home for their tea which might give me a wee bit of manoeuvrability when it comes to compositions so obviously we all have to share this beautiful landscape so it's all about finding compromise I think so we're going to head up to waterfall number two now and hopefully catch it before that rain comes back on B818 road to Fintry from Stirling. It's a one track road, it's very, very, it's not treacherous, but it's, you can go too fast up here because it's not that you would, but it's, uh, yeah, cars just come around the bend really quickly. This is Earl's Burn, there's a wee bridge just up here, so you can actually see this from bridge on the road. Um, and I saw this on the way down earlier to go to Calendar, so um, I thought I'd stop on the way by. Obviously, the light has pretty much disappeared. Um, when I arrived, it was a wee bit brighter, but it's starting to get dark. Sunset isn't about 20 minutes or so, so we're going to head up to the Loup of Fintry and try and get a nice moody black and white picture in Loup of Fintry. Hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter up there, but um, so at the moment I've got a composition set up here. I've actually taken two here. I've got quite a far away shot and I've got quite a close up shot as well to the waterfall. I've put a polarizer on just to cut out because obviously the sky is very bright and that's reflecting on the water. But apart from that, nice moody black and white or colour actually. I quite like the idea of making this a sort of tonal picture with the oranges and the greens of the grass and the moss behind me. Um, so I haven't really decided which way I'm going to take this picture yet. It could go either way. So we'll check that out when we get it back into Photoshop. So 
started to rain, what a surprise. We got to the loop of Fintry uh, just in time for sunset, so look at that sky behind me. Is that not just stunning? So I've never actually been here when it's been this pink before, it's absolutely gorgeous, but I'm just going to head down to the waterfall now. Um, as you can see behind me, it's over there. But there's a bit of a walk to get down to it and I can already see two other toppers down there so I'm not going to go on my own. But yeah, look at that sky. Oh, Scotland's finest eh? What a sunset, that was stunning! I'm walking back to the car now and I'm absolutely knackered but that was a million percent worth it wow never seen a sunset like that up here before absolutely gorgeous I think they're about 100 foot tall those waterfalls so a bit of a contrast from the first one which was the Bracken Falls which were ferocious and there was loads of different levels and there's a, a viewpoint there you can look down as well obviously I didn't take the traditional route so I went down on a cliff edge to have a look at it and then we had the Errol's Burn which is further up the road there and a uh, tiny probably about 10 foot tall if even that but it's still beautiful it had this lovely pool of water um, into kind of offshoots of rivers so I would imagine if I went back there again, probably at sunset actually, um, I would get some stunning photos up there as well. But the yeah, this one just blew my mind, absolutely took my breath away today. I wasn't expecting that. I knew when I got here it was a nice kind of colour in the sky, it was a bit of pink in the sky, but for that colour just to erupt was phenomenal. So um, I've been here once before where I had a sort of slightly pinky glow. But those clouds just caught fire tonight, they looked absolutely amazing. So I'm really glad that I got here in time. I have I had to do a bit of a Usain Bolt to get down to them because I could see it changing every second. There was ambient light one minute and then there was strong light and I got a bit of haze in the valley as well. So I'm really, really happy with the photo that I managed to get. Uh, oh, those two photographers, by the way, um, passed me on the way back up. So they must have just stayed for gold and then came back up again. But yeah, they were lovely. I got to chat to them for a few minutes and then I had to run, obviously, because I was catching it. So yeah, let's go back to the car, get a coffee, and then see what it looks like on Photoshop. Right, so let's just jump straight in. Uh, obviously, I'm not on location anymore. Uh, this is now Monday because I forgot to wrap up the video while I was out on location. I was too busy being excited by that sunset. So I had an absolutely fantastic time chasing all three waterfalls. It's not something I shoot very often, but um, the weather kind of predicts what sort of subject I'm going to look for that day. And in this case, the weather seemed to be perfect for waterfalls because it was very diffused light and um, there was a bit of a mixed bag of weather between sunshine and clouds and stuff like that. So yeah, we joined across a road that I've been down once before. Um, and I've never noticed the, the second waterfall that I'd got to. But obviously, as you saw in the video, the first waterfall that I got to was Bracklin Falls in Calendar. Um, it's a very, very famous walk. Um, it's a very popular walk as well, obviously, as you saw. There's plenty of dog walkers and people just wanting to get down and have a look at the waterfalls. Um, there is a bridge there. There's a viewpoint you can go to to have a look, um, which kind of looks directly down on the waterfall. But um, obviously, it's crowded all the time, so you're better sort of scouting up and down the river trying to find other locations which is obviously what I did um, unbeknownst to me apparently I don't know if it showed in the video but there was apparently a guy standing about a metre behind me I had no idea <laughs> I have no sense of anything like that obviously I'm in the zone I'm trying not to fall off a cliff I'm trying to get a picture I'm trying to frame it up and stuff so I was nowhere I had no clue there was somebody standing literally right behind me on that wee kind of cliff edge that I was on that's something I need to be more aware of because obviously he could have startled me and I could have jumped and fell in because I'm really, really clumsy. So yeah, it's definitely something to look out for in the future. But this is the Bracklin Falls photo. I'll put the, the photograph up here so you can see it. Um, it's very green. I didn't expect 
all of them obviously it's a waterfall so you're going to get moss and stuff there but I didn't expect so much still even for the start of spring I thought maybe a lot of it would have died back and stuff so I was expecting a very muted location and um, even though the water is so ferocious I thought that would kind of take over the picture but in actual fact when I look at the picture um, the balance seems to be between it's like a bat, it's like a fight between the greenery all around that sort of that sort of frames the the waterfall and the waterfall itself, which is completely ferocious. As I said in the video, it is amazing. Yeah, it's such a fierce waterfall. It's got so many levels and layers and things to it as well. This one I haven't posted on social media yet, just because it was one that I'd found while I was editing, and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, I found this. This was in the video. You'll see me jumping down onto another bit, which reminded me so much of the bit in Star Trek, the original series, where Kirk's fighting the Gorn and they've got that big massive rock face that's all pointy and jaggy. That's what it reminded me of. But I made this one black and white just because of the sheer drama of it. It's such a dramatic shot. And then the other location was Earl's Burn, which was on the B818 road from Stirling to Fintry. I think it's a farmer's road. Um, I think I said a fire road. I think it's a farmer's road. <laughs> I don't know where I got fire road from. It's a very small waterfall, it's tiny but it's very intimate, it's got, a, it's got a lot of potential, there's a lot of sort of features there which could work really well with a photo. There's like two sort of meandering little rivers that feed into the waterfall which come from the bridge. It's definitely a few compositions up there. And then obviously there was this picture. It still completely blows me away every time I look at it. I think it's because I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting a nice enough colour in the sky but when it goes that deep red colour and you're not really looking for it, it's it's a bit special. So I was really happy with this picture. I'm still really happy with it. I might be getting this one printed actually. That's how much I love it. I have a drone picture in mind I'm going to get printed and I think this one is definitely a contender. I absolutely love it. Well, the balance between the colour of the water and the sky is gorgeous. It works really well because this is more of a sort of bluey tone through, through the water here. So it works better with the sky and that sort of oranges of the sky. Um, but my favourite part of this picture is a really, really small detail. There's a, there's also the main waterfall and there's one bit, pillar of water at the back which is glowing with this beautiful red sort of the sunsets also hitting it and it's glowing and it's gorgeous and it reminds me of the the fiery red waterfall in, is it Yosemite Park? So yeah, there's loads of potential in this picture but I think it's definitely a print worthy one. I think it's definitely a keeper might even be my best image this year so far now that's a bold statement i'm really happy this one worked out well three of those pictures i haven't put on social media yet i've literally just posted the one of the loop of entry i'll post the other three on my social media probably tonight and then this video is going out tomorrow so it's going out tuesday at 6 pm yeah once again i hope you've enjoyed today's video uh it's been a bit of a chase this one also chasing light chasing different types of waterfalls at different times of the day uh, next week's is going to be just as fun hopefully Thank you so much again for watching and supporting the channel. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.